Welcome back to a new video. Today I will be flip throughing Horizons Map Book One. I do not have Book Two. I have not bought it yet. Um, I wanted to. I'm going to be buying it when she's about to finish this. Like maybe like ten lessons before she finishes. I got this in Amazon for like twenty something dollars. Um, and I have seen it for like nineteen dollars or. Yeah, I think the cheapest one I have seen it for is like $19 on christianbook.com. And I definitely recommend checking them out constantly because they do go up and down in their prices. So I think that you will find a, be a way better price there or in rainbowresource.com. Um, so yeah, um, this is for Monique. I'll be using it for her first grade math. Um, I decided to go with Horizon for her because I, from flip throwing online and asking other homeschool moms, um, about it, I have noticed that this is definitely a more slower curriculum than a Becca, which I was going to be going for both kids. And Monique was struggling with math. She doesn't. She's not that good at mental math. Um, she <clears throat> she struggles with it, not to the extent where she's like below grade level. She's actually ahead of grade level. But uh, I knew that. I wanted to get a curriculum that wasn't going to put her down and she was going to be hating math. Um, she also does not like constant repetition, so like a mastery workbook was not going to work for her, um, at least at the moment. So Horizon is a, um, a spiral, excuse me, a spiral, I can't even talk today. Horizon is a spiral curriculum which goes back and forth from different less, different topics, topics in math. This is a two- part work two part curriculum so it has two workbooks book one and book two for each grade this is the student workbook as you see it right there um yeah from life pack horizon book one here's the back alpha omega um i do take off my books like i do not destroy them unbound them if that makes sense um because i like to make pdf copy of my books for future children that i don't have to buy buy it so <clears throat> This is an advanced curriculum, but not advanced as like her, as not as advanced as a Becca. And I do want to make a video showing you guys the difference between a Becca and Horizon and also a Becca and Singapore. But at the moment, we're just going to do a flip through Horizon's math book one for first grade. So this is pretty much the first page. Um, I did rip out the all the pages as you see here, and I also did rip out the pages where it says the content of what it goes over. I should go on my computer right now and look it up, but you can easily find that online of what this book covers. So this book has, let's go all the way to the last page, one second. This book has 178 pages and 80 lessons. I'm going to move this to the side. Just wanted to show you the outside. So this is lesson one. Um, I'm not going to be going through every single le every single lesson. I'll be skipping back and forth from... Not back and forth. I'll be skipping a couple of lessons. So this is lesson one. You can find the lesson number up here. And in the first lesson, they have the child trace the numbers, write the numbers... Write the missing numbers on the number line. Oh, and another thing, they use number lines here a lot in Horizon. So, I think it will be good for also... I think it will be good to get a supplement for addition and subtraction. Um, because they do use the number line and you don't want your child to depend too much on it. So, I will be using as a supplement for Monique Kuman workbooks, addition and subtraction. Um, for she doesn't get too... Um, used to the number lines. I don't want her to depend too much of it because in older grades she's not gonna, she's not gonna be able to use it as much. So, um, this is the front page of lesson one, and this is the second page, and it's really fun. They get to do this um, connect the dots activity, and then she gets to color, and that's literally the first day. She's not gonna do anything else for math, so that's why um, I recommend Horizons because it's so like, what is the word? <clears throat> it's not slow, but it's so fun for kids, even if it's not colored. Um, if not even if it's not colored, it is colored. Even if it's not, um, what am I saying? I also cut this part. So the child will be doing some connected dots. Let's move this over here. Um, and then this is lesson two. Number order, ordinal numbers explains 
you know, what to do in each lesson. It is colorful, so if your child do like does like color, they will really like this curriculum. If your child does not like color, then you can photocopy it in black and white. But the money would look kind of weird. You see this money? <clears throat> this is supposed to be a nickel. And it does look like a nickel, but also um, a Becca has it way better. If you're just wondering. I'll make a, a comparison video. Okay. Here's place value. So they teach how, you know, what place value is. And if you see place value is in the first lesson. And then you won't see it until the back of the next lesson. And then sometimes you won't see it again until a couple lessons. Like, see? In this lesson, you won't see place value. But you will see it here. Um, I do have some writing on the top of the of some of the pages for I can remind for a reminder on how to teach certain things. So for example, less than great less than and greater than I wrote think of a hungry alligator. The alligator's mouth always opens to the big number. And that's just to help them. And I wrote it in every single one of them. Oops, this is not the right way. Okay. Oh, I didn't show you this page. So, oh, here's what I was saying about the number line. And you'll see number lines a lot. Like, for example, you'll see number lines there as well. So, like I said before, you may need to supplement it. I'm not going to show the back so many times. Okay, let's skip all the... This is lesson 11. Let's just do this one to be the last lesson. Um, and let's skip all the way to lesson 23 so here's lesson 23 this is what your child will be covering again see the number line is here to help them and i think that's the reason why i decided to go with this curriculum because of the number line and she really like <clears throat> really enjoys using the number line for addition and not only enjoys she sometimes needs it way more here's money Introducing pennies and dimes. Here's the calendar as well. Inches. Number order before two. Here's fractions. Let's skip a couple more. Here we have number order. Um, we have some fraction as well. Some time. You don't need, in my opinion, um, the teacher's manual because if you do know addition, not addition, sorry, you don't, if you know math for first grade, this would not be hard to teach. Here's the time by quarter hour. I, I, like, look, these is what, th these, this is what Monique needs. Like, she needs more of an explanation where Abeka doesn't have that. Like, they just like, okay, this is how you do the first couple of exercises and then just do it by yourself. Where Horizon like teaches it in a way that for kids who struggle with it, if that makes sense. And I'm sorry, I'm not showing the back. It's just it's a hassle. Um, okay. This book costs around twenty dollars, twenty something dollars. I am skipping a couple lessons, as you see. Um, just to show you a really quick video. I don't want this video to be too long. But I don't want people to think that this curriculum is not advanced. Even if it's a lot slower than a Becca, it's still an advanced curriculum. I think overall in both workbooks, there's 140 lessons. I think there's 80 lessons in the other workbook. Really nice. I think she's going to really enjoy this, hopefully. Let's cross my fingers that she enjoys this curriculum. Um, she has seen it. She has looked through it. She says it looks fun, but, you know, kids can say one thing, and then when they start doing it, it's another thing. Um, and as you see, they still have the number lines. I do want to make a video about when we do finish... Excuse me. <clears throat> when we do finish um, Horizon, uh, both the Horizon workbooks, I do want to show you our supplement so I'm gonna end up showing you guys what the supplement for Monique is David's supplement I mentioned it in my um in a video um I actually did a flip through 
is going to be a Becca is going to be our supplement our like well no Singapore is going to be for David our um, core and a Becca is gonna be our supplement slash reach because a Becca is a lot more of a advanced it starts off first grade and then it goes straight into advanced first grade slash second grade okay we're almost done again see still the number line to help the child when he needs that and it makes her more confident and it makes her more um into math if that makes sense she's not like complaining about it and getting upset and i don't mind her using it it is first grade oh here they do have tests i do forget to say they do have tests um here so this is test eight lesson 66 to 75 um, and the child will be doing pretty much a test of what they've been learning. Again, the number line. They're known for their number lines. And here is the last lesson, lesson 80, um, which goes over fraction one-third. <clears throat> and like I said, I will be, um, making a video of the second book when I get it. Um, this is going to be done in 80 days because we do a lesson in one lesson each day and around the 70 less around lesson 70 i will be getting um book two and i will be doing a whole review um of it if you guys enjoy this video give it a thumbs up if you have any questions about this curriculum comment down below and i'll answer it as soon as possible subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye